Hello children, welcome to CA class. Today we will start chapter 4, Scratch Programming 1, Basic Concepts Review. Students, Scratch is actually a programming language. But here you don't have to write the programs. Scratch software is there, which is very easy to use to write the Scratch program. So, you don't have to write Scratch programs, but here there are blocks. Scratch is also known as block programming language. So, you have to simply choose the desired block and then you have to drag it in your work area. So, first of all, we will know about the Scratch language. So, Scratch is actually found from the term scratching. DJs used to scratch new sounds into the old songs, okay? New rhythmic sounds using old records and then they used to create the new song, new sound or the new music. Now, block programming language. It is a block programming language in which there are blocks of codes and you have to drag those blocks of codes in the work area. Now, it is designed by Kindergarten Lifelong Learning Group where in MIT Media Lab. Then, it introduced the program concepts in a fun, interactive and visual manner. Here, you will be able to give animations to the objects. The objects on the screen will can move as per the blocks you have chosen. So, it will be very fun to create the scratch program. It will be interactive also because there will be animations and all and visually also you will be able to like it. It is very easy to create the interactive stories, games and animations as you will be able to move object on the screen. You will be able to create interactive stories, you can create games and animations in it. Students, now you can see this is the scratch interface. When you will click on the scratch software icon, then this is the screen that will appear. In this screen, at the top left, you will be able to see the menus. Then on the left side, you will be able to see the stage, the sprite. Sprite means the object, the picture that you can see in the stage area, that is the object. Okay, and the backdrop. Backdrop means background. Then in the center, you will be able to see the palette, block palette. I told you, Scratch is a block programming language. So, where you will be able to find all the blocks? All the blocks you will be able to see in block palettes. So, from block palette, you have to drag the blocks into the area which is at the right. So, at the right side, you will be able to see the script area. Okay. Script area is the place where you will drag the blocks. So, here there you will be able to arrange the blocks in the proper sequence as you want in your program or in your story or game. Okay. So, to create a story or a game, you have to put blocks one by one. Okay. It is according to the story. Okay. You don't have to simply drag any block over there. You have to choose the specific block from all these blocks to create your interactive story or a game. So now students, one by one we will study all the sections of the scratch interface. Okay, When we click on the scratch icon, we will be able to see scratch interface and one by one we will study all the sections of the scratch interface. So, First of all, there is menu and toolbar. It will be at the top. You have seen in all the softwares, there are menus at the top. Menus, icons, buttons, etc. So here, in menus and toolbars, first of all, we will study about menu bar. So in menu bar, we have four menus. File menu, edit menu, about menu and tips menu. So in file menu, you will be able to create new project. You can open the existing project. You can save the project. You can record the video of your project. And you can share your project or you can quit from your project. Okay, Quit means to close the project. Then edit menu is to go for a small stage layout. If you want different stage layout, 
then you can use at menu you can go to the turbo mode or if you want to undelete anything then you can use this option in about you can have information okay it gives informations of the scratch more information about scratch then tips tips will offer the tips to work in different ways the ways in which we can work in scratch will be offered in the tips then in toolbar section toolbar section you will be able to see on the right side at the top okay on the left side there are menus on the right side there are tools so in toolbar section the tools are duplicate to duplicate anything whatever is selected will be duplicated then to delete if we will select anything we can click on delete icon over there in the toolbar section and it will be deleted to grow okay like if the object is very small in size then we can select the object and click on grow the object will grow in size then when we click on shrink icon then object will shrink in size and when we click on help then we will get help related to that particular block now the second section is the stage sprite background and backdrop you will be able to see it at the left side so here first of all students we will know what is the stage stage is actually the background of the project okay like you can set the background a green background or a sky background or some background with having trees then the sprite sprite is actually the object that will move on the screen okay and there will be objects like you will be able to insert cat flies ball so in the next section we will study is the stage sprite background uh, background or it is also known as backdrop so students you should know what is stage stage is actually the background of the project here you can change the background also but the by default it will be white in color then sprite sprite will be the object that will be moving on the stage so the object can perform some action as i said moving on the screen like if we have inserted the block to move the sprite there that means the object will move so by default the object will be the cat you can change the object later on so if you want to change the stage or sprite we have many option okay if you want to set the background of the stage then you can change there is backdrop option you can click on backdrop and then you can choose a background from the scratch library if you want you can create your own backdrop also if you want to take any picture from your computer you can take from there also or if you want you can click from camera also so there are four options to insert the background the same way you have four options to insert the sprite okay like you have to insert the object like if you have to insert flies or you want to insert the cat or flying cat etc then you can choose it from the scratch library or if you want you can take it from your computer also or if you want you can create your own object or if you want you can also click it from the camera and you can use your own picture also as a sprite now block palette so this is the third section i said block section is in the center there you will be able to see all the blocks so each action is represented by a block as i told you scratch is a block programming language then every action like there will be a move block then turn 15 degree clockwise turn 15 degree anti clockwise etc so there are many blocks to move the object so any action that is done by the sprite we can choose a block so block will be there in block palette all types of blocks you will be able to find in block palettes so every category is represented by different different colors in center you will be able to see there is a blue color blocks so the blue blocks are motion blocks pen blocks are in green color control blocks in yellow color 
Okay, there are different different colors for different different categories. So, if there is a motion, you will be able to see blue color, uh, dark blue color um, blocks for it. Then look, if you have to change the look of the sprite, then you can choose the looks also. The data, sensing, sound, events, operators. These are all categories of the blocks. So students, one by one I will explain you all types of blocks. So first of all, there is a motion block. With the help of motion blocks, we can move the object, we can turn the object, we can set position, we can point the object somewhere and so on. Then there is look. If we have to change the different pose, okay, like I said, the cat can have a different pose. If the cat is walking, then first in first pose, there will be left leg ahead. In the second pose, there will be right leg ahead. Okay. Or in the third pose, it might be standing. So, there are three poses. If we want a cat to move, if we want a cat to move, then there can be three poses. First of all, uh, left leg ahead, then second leg ahead and then the cat might be standing. So, to show the movement, we can change the costume after a certain time. After a specific time. Then sound. If we have to insert the sound or we have to set the volume or we have to change the tempo. Tempo of the volume means speed of the volume. If we have to increase the speed of the volume or decrease the speed of the volume, then we can choose the blocks from the sound. Then pen block. Pen block means to draw a line on the screen. If we want to draw the line on the screen, we can use pen blocks. So, there are different different operations in the pen block like pen up means nothing will be drawn. Pen down that means line will be drawn. Then color block will change the color of the line. Then size block will change the thickness of the line etc. Data category is actually used to calculate the scores. Timely we will be able to set the score or how much time the sprite has spent in that particular level etc. Here you will be able to give the values to the variable like set the value of the x, set value of y etc. Then events. Events means any action which can be performed like by pressing the button something should happen like if you want to start the game by clicking on enter key. Then you can set action from here that which key will be pressed to do something on the screen. Okay, like if you have to move to the right, that means when right key pressed, when left key pressed, when arrow key is pressed, okay. Or when enter key pressed or any alphabet key, you can choose or space, space pressed, etc. Or by clicking on the flag, by clicking on the stop button, we should stop. By clicking on the flag button, the game should start, etc. Now control. Actually we will control the movement or animation for a specific time or for a specific action. So here the control we can have many options like if we want. If we have two conditions. Okay. The two condition and the false condition then we can use the control block or if we want to repeat some action for a specific time. Then, that, then also we can use the blocks which are there in the control category. Then there is sensing. Sensing means to sense something like uh, if uh, we want to perform some action on mouse down. Okay. Or if we want to uh, perform action on any of the action that we are uh, using. Then it will simply help in animating the game. Then operators. Operators will allow us to in insert arithmetic and logical operations in the game. If we have to make calculations, if we have to increase the score every time um, or we have to change the label or we have to reduce the score etc. So the logical operations and arithmetic operations will be performed in operators. Custom, custom category is the category in which we can create our own blocks. So students, only this much for today. All of you download Scratch software from the internet. It is freely available over the internet. You can download it easily. You can install it. It is very easy to install. And then try to create small animating programs. You will be able to find example also. Example videos are given over there in the Scratch software. And you will be able to create nice interactive games and stories 
in your scratch software thank you have a nice day